hello everyone and welcome back to another video where I'm going to talk about my vinyl collection. It's been a while since I've touched upon this series, but since there are not that many recent albums to talk about right now, I just found the opportunity to just keep up with the series, and this is part 3 of me showing my final collection. The link with the playlist with the other videos in the series is going to be down in the description, the order of the albums is chronological, and with that being said, let's get straight into the first album, which is this a bit used copy of... Zero by Afex Twin. Now this might not be one of my favorite works from Afex Twin, but it's still a really good work that he released years after the amazing tracks. This is his comeback album and this is in a really nice and unique packaging. While this is the first physical release I got from Afex Twin, this one has a pretty interesting package. You have all of those um, code numbers over here, which is um, some prices based off some really random things. And this is a threefold vinyl that goes on with this huge list over here. Now, the thing with this album though is that the rest of the thing is just completely white, it's just blank. And I don't really get it, I mean, he could definitely do something more uh, rather than just have this overly simplistic thing, color. But anyways, that's not um, that much of an issue. Anyways, you have three records over here, which are um, 12 inches um, playing in 45 RPM, if I'm not mistaken. Um, each side is really really short and you still have a white blank folder for each record with the only exception being that you have um, the tracks over here from each side and there's not nothing all that much to it. It actually says the tempo out of each track which is something that I haven't seen before but yeah it actually describes um, the tempo of each song instead of its runtime. And I like the labels on this thing, I think um, the labels are a bit interesting, I like what they have done with the labels. And the only difference is probably with the one in the middle which has this huge list, which is probably all the synthesizers and the effects he used in order to create this album, which is a really nice and clever touch. I like the way he handled this album. It's full of mystery, despite its simplicity, it's really mysterious and it's done in a really nice fashion. And yeah, the album, like I said, it's a bit used, but it plays really well and the sound of each side is really crisp, really good. The production on this thing is very nice, it sounds solid on vinyl and since uh, each side is too short in length, you just get crystal clear sound. So yeah, like I said, not one of my favorite works from Afex Twin, that's for sure, but there are still some great tracks over here. And for IDM standards, it's a really good album, really experimental, really out there. So yeah, um, not my highest recommendation if you haven't got into Afex Twin so far. Not the best starting point, even though uh, this is easier to digest compared to some of his previous works. But yeah, the best starting point in my opinion is his very first album, Selected Dublin Works. It's his most classic work. Now next one, I might have to cover this a little bit um, and censor um, this particular part over here. Now what we have over here is a Nerds with Wound release. And God, this is a really crazy, insane album. And even though Nerds With Wound is really known for making some really obscure albums, I still think this is one of the weirdest works he has done. Now, this album is known as The Musty Odor of Pierced Rectums, a collection of obsolete primitive variations on parentheses. And you might be aware of this album since it's one of the more well-known works 
from the recent years of Nerds with Wound, if we're talking about some of his works in the 2000s, but the CD version has a different album cover. And this is the first press on vinyl five years later in 2008. And in my opinion, this album cover over here not only is a piece of art, it fits much better the aesthetic of this entire album and it fits pretty much the whole aesthetic of Nerds with Wound. It's this extremely surreal sound that it really fits into getting with sound collage. Now the only problem with this record is that even though I love this packaging over here, I like that it's really hard, it's really tough to get the album out sometimes and I always have a struggle to get it out. But other than that, this one comes in this really good brown color. I don't know if you can actually see it all that well, but this is a really nice brown vinyl. Having some white and black marbles here and there. This is a really beautiful album and the sound of this thing is excellent. Um, even though it's a really silent album at parts because there are so many cut up glitch elements to it, it plays excellent and there are almost no pops or crackles or anything. This is a great pressing if you can't out the thing that it's a bit hard to get this thing aside once you put it out. Other than that you have an excellent record and I'm really happy about this. Not one of my favorite works from Nurse With Wound but is it one of the weirdest? Yes, it is. And the more I listen to it, there are more and more things I discover. This is a really weird and experimental and obscure album. Having some of the sound collars and music concrete elements you can find from a Nerds With Wound album. But this is one of those occasions where I think it goes to another level. This is just surreal. It's insanity. And this is easily one of my favorite album covers ever. I really love this and it really fits for being on vinyl because this is a piece of art. Next release I'm going to talk about is Tertium Organum by Dieter Moog. This is a vinyl from one of my favorite power electronics labels, if not my favorite, Tesco Organization. And this is not one of the more well-known releases but I think this one is a really underrated album that I got really, really, really cheap. But this is a great death industrial slash power electronics album. Comes on this plastic sleeve. It's really simplistic. There's not anything else other than that. It's really simple in its packaging, but it doesn't need more other than that. I just like this album. I listened to it and I think that this is a really solid work from the label. I think this is a really solid work of Dark Ambient and Death Industrial. There are some great tracks to it and I think that this is a highly underrated album that you need to check out, especially if you are fans of this genre. This one is really dark and I highly recommend this release. The next album is this collaboration of Merzbo and Susu called Merzu. Now, this collaboration is possibly not one of my favorite works from both Mersbo and Susu. Um, to be honest with you, when I heard this album at first, I didn't think it was something all that great. I thought it was just an okay album, which is something that I still believe. But um, the more I listen to it, the more I just discovered that there are some elements to the sound that sound really good. But the thing is that I don't get that much of a distinct sound from Susu in particular. I think it has your standard elements of harsh noise sound that you can find from the sound of Mersbo. It's a little bit repetitive, but it's really short in length. It's really straight to the point. But the thing I like about this the most, and it's the main reason I bought this album, is how beautiful it is. When I saw the pictures of how this vinyl looks, this is one of the most gorgeous ones I have in my collection. It comes to this transparent color with black and pink splatter and it looks gorgeous. 
In a strange way, it really fits the album, the aesthetic with the labels and all that. I really love this. This is one of the most gorgeous records I own in my collection. And yeah, other than that, the album sounds solid. The pressing is really good. And this surprisingly is a record store day release only. That was a thousand copies and that's pretty much about it. And for its time it was a surprising collaboration but I'm pretty sure more people would expect something more than just that, myself included. But still for what it is, it's a really nice collaboration, it's a good release, it could have been something better. Maybe not one of my favorite albums in my collection, it's definitely one of the prettiest ones, but I still don't regret it. And the last one is Filler Langlais by Expo 70. I probably butchered that, but I don't speak French or whatever it is. I think it's probably French, but anyways, this comes from a really underrated project. I don't think I've ever heard anyone mention about them. And to be honest, the way I discovered this album is because I thought it has a really gorgeous album cover, it was extremely cheap and the album was in a great color and I decided to listen to it and this is a great mix of space rock and it's really psychedelic if you couldn't tell from <laughs> the back of it which is really psychedelic and the front of it it's really spacey. And surprisingly enough, this is a really good album and possibly one of my favorites, especially in this kind of genre, which is a genre that I'm not that much into, but this release over here in particular was a big surprise to me. There is a card over here, there is this beautiful thing that they had on the inside, this is a really nice insert. And like I said, the album is gorgeous. This is also one of the most beautiful albums in my collection. It's a purple with black splatter. I think there's also a bit of a red splatter in it or like orange or something like that. But yeah, this, this is a really beautiful album. And I think that musically wise, um, it's really psychedelic. It's really spacey. There is a great ambience to it. The more I listen to it, the more of a grower it becomes. And yeah, this is a really good album that I did not regret buying, even though I had no idea who Expo 70 were. And I haven't heard that many albums from them because I've seen they have a huge discography with so many different small releases. But other than that, I think this is a really limited release. It's a pressing of 500 copies in this color. But I don't think there is another person of it anyways. Great album, I definitely recommend this to you. And that's about it. These are 5 albums in my collection. Part 3 of my vinyl collection. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. But anyways, if you have heard those albums, what do you think of them? Like them? Dislike them? Why? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.